reconciliation. I, I, this will be the case for a lot of you. It will. Um, and it could be a reconciling with an old fling, someone you've known from the past, um, for some of you, you know. But, well, so we have reconciliation. We've got flirt. And for, for some of you, there's this Maybe old fling comes back in to reignite a connection. To It's just a different shift. Um, but also extend your lighthearted energy to others. I think you're in, a lot of you are in this dating energy as well. Now we have children. And then we have give your relationship to, a chance. I feel the children card here has to do with... Um, bottom of the deck, we have express your love. Yeah. Let go of control issues. Codependency. Um, this has to do with your past person's behavior. So this person, I feel like maybe they weren't the best to express emotions. Um, it doesn't have to be anything severely negative. It just means that this person either is a closed person. And so they just, you know, aren't good at, at sharing and communicating emotions in an effective manner. And so I think this is probably, it probably brought this to light. You know, it's probably what caused the confliction between the two of you, but definitely there's an energy of reconciliation and working on things with this, give really your relationship a chance. So for a lot of you, this will be the case. Um, and for others of you, it could be an old fling, you know, but that's where the new direction comes in and someone from from um, the past that you've uh, come to reconnection with. All right, so let's get more energies on this Capricorn. So we're giving more of this energy for Capricorn. Chariot energy was very big for you guys. So we have, oh God, there's two of pentacles, two of pentacles with patience, Capricorn. I know <laughs> you guys hate this card. I swear I think Capricorn should be done with patience, but I'm sorry, Capricorn. I think um, patience is one of Capricorn's strongest characteristics of a Capricorn. We believe in long-term investments. So it's just something that comes with your your energy and all these areas in your life and how you apply yourself. Um, so someone, obviously, it took time to make this decision. And I think both of you are in this space. So temperance here with the patients is part of the waiting game, the divine timing. So it's almost like uh, this needed to happen for things to be figured out. Memories of love. Yeah, sex missing. This person does miss you. They can't seem to like let you go but it's also again we're talking about about a past energy so memories of love and this could be an, a reconnection with somebody so um deception and envy here and i feel this is probably the way this person expressed themselves there's something that obviously whatever caused the friction between you both is is the energy that's here in this deception and envy so let's see what we've got here okay more on this two of pentacles what's the decision here spirit I mean, they see your value, the strength card and the two of cups. Um, they see their, your value. I think this person with the strength card is kind of realizing the value you bring to their, their life. And this is definitely an energy of someone who you know feels a sense of balance with you now for others of you this movement choices for those going into a new direction here meeting someone new you're just feeling good capricorn and capricorn last week i think in your reading nine of pentacles has been strong i think also in your general read too so doing your own thing so the self-love you're giving yourself right this is this is also capricorn month i feel sorry to sag right but i feel like <laughs> december is always capricorn month so 
um, birthday month for those in the last two weeks, of course, but you guys know how you roll. You know, you kind of get in your groove and then I feel this is you in your groove of energy for a while, you know, you guys, and then you'll extend it to January because you own January too. But, um, you know, this is you finding what you want, two of cups. So you really kind of taking this time. But for those in that reconciliation, this person really thought about things. Nine, nine of swords, whatever this friction was, um... I feel like it just someone got sidetracked here. It it just feels that way. All right, give me more of this patience. Give me more of this patience here. Why the temperance? King of Pentacles. So we have Queen of Wands and the Hanged Man. So a lot in this time is kind of reactivating. There's a lot gaining in this space perspective. I think your person's realizing their true attraction and the value you bring to the table. I think the misunderstanding here again is the way you guys express yourself. So maybe this is a person who doesn't know how to communicate and express themselves. And you, obviously you do Capricorns because I mean, Capricorns are extremely verbal. Here we have King of Pentacles energy. You guys can be dealing with um, a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but this communication, I feel like they really want to move into calmer waters. There's so much that they're gaining and understanding. It seems like this is, again, also a person who thinks a lot on their when they're alone. And it's probably, um, this could be a very introverted personality that when there's a, it, it could be a response, reaction, you know, a child, like childhood response reaction where they need to kind of spend time alone to figure things out and, you know, and resolve. So let me see what's this hangman for. Give me more on this hangman. Six of swords. Give me more on this hangman. Yeah, they were really confused before and now they're just like, I don't feel like they like to sit in this energy too much either. Taking action. The knight of wands so i also feel it's the passion so some of them maybe sexually are also missing you because you have the queen of wands with the knight of wands but there's also just this pool right this passionate pool between the two of you and i think that's that magnetic pool i felt um i also feel it here with the strength card the strength for card this person there's obviously someone you have sexual chemistry with so i feel um <laughs> I feel Capricorns, you guys are in this kind of fiery energy as well, where um, it's your, you know, you're feeling good. And so it, it really ignites something in you. And maybe some of you, um, as I say that lovers and, and the star. Yeah, like I feel like this ignite nightmen within your energy, Capricorn. And some of you, I feel some of you are, I have to call it for what it is. Like, um, it's just such a feel good energy. I feel like um, when Capricorn is so strong in their element, even like when, you know, things are good, money's good. And even when like you're very focused on your career and stuff. So you're like on this go, 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 right? The star, like you're like doing, you're busy doing a lot. Queen of Wands is always busy. Um, there's, that's wonderful, right? It's wonderful. But sometimes it creates such an energy in us that makes us extremely sexual. And I feel this energy of a very high sex drive this month, Capricorn, where you need to let loose. Um, so I, I kind of want to clarify the strength spirit. Give me more of the strength. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. So your person definitely wants this i think this new beginning there goes back that lovers this new beginning um it's and physically and maybe you guys will physically get together again and, and um like hook up or whatever i hate that word but you know what i'm saying there's the pool between uh, you it's almost like inevitable um for some of you give me more of this two of cups i want to clarify this two of cups as well <laughs> nine of pentacles again so i also feel you're just to me, this also gives that the single people energy, right? Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups, you being in this balance. So this is where you're attracting, again, the feel good energy, Capricorn, where you're going to just attract even a new person. So um, some of you, this is where 
other people come in everyone from the woodworks are gonna start popping up maybe exes you you know like people that you probably just dated and it just whatever you guys kind of lose contact but it's not like you close that door completely i don't ever feel that um capricorns gets bitter in that way where we shut doors in that sense and then we'd be like no i, I you know capricorns just you know it's one of those things hey we keep it moving didn't work out oh well right and you know when we when we get to that space um especially when it's not someone we in, entirely invest ourselves in but i feel this this strength and this power that you're feeling with the stern card this confidence it feels very high sexual and high sacral so it's just a really good month for you um so let's see but your person obviously you're very much in their mind and i think it's also what's going to wheel them back in um the space not really giving them too much because you're too busy so spirit game around this memories of love why the memories of love so much four of swords this person's really thinking about things like you know they they haven't they had time to think capricorn so lovers again knight of wands oh god this is some sexual tension right here you guys Woof, capricorn this is definitely um holding on to you for dear life four pentacles so you rock this person's world um and i think this person oof, i feel this power of a lot of you um that ignites your person and this is what's going to bring you both back because it's almost like they they don't know so let's see what they've gathered here with this four of swords Jeez, fire again this is a lot of passion ten of cups wow aries leo sag um strong wheel with the six of wands so this person like I really just think this is really, really high sexual energy here. I want to clarify, Ten of Cups, like, you do make them happy. I feel this person is recognizing, that they really are recognizing the value of this connection and what they want. Give me more of this lovers. Give me more of this lovers more wands oof cupid's arrow four pentacles this person what did you do capricorn if this is a new person because i can't tell you which sign it is i feel like there's someone you've activated so whoever and i have to call it out whoever you while it if this was recent capricorn right these nine of pentacles confirming like you rocked someone's world or someone's definitely like you're so in your element that this person definitely is stimulated by you that it's like they can't they can't let you go i also feel a jealous streak with this person definitely a jealous streak what is this knight knight of wands why the knight of wands so they're gonna want to take this action wow four of wands wow king of cups jeez capricorn Oof, this is some serious loving you guys <laughs> ace of swords oh, clarity two of cups magician Oof. capricorn the empress someone's gonna really i feel like um this is a good month so whoever this is connecting with capricorn this person's gonna really sex you up like they're gonna give you the birthday you've ever like the best birthday you've ever had that's what i feel like this reconciliation is gonna have all the goodness all the goodness in it you know <laughs> oh god this is such a cute read i have to say what is this deception and envy I, to me, this is the sidetrack. This is their hiccup. This is all that nine of swords, four of swords, four of pentacles energy that that like caused resistance for what? Give me one deception and envy because this read is fire. Oh my God. Can you talk about fire? King of wands. Oh, there you go. And four of pentacles is back. Capricorn, you have me rolling in this read. This person obviously is resisting the sexual tension here. 
the deception is in uh, this high tension, this sexual, and yeah, Wheel of Fortune. So things are coming back around. You guys are going to, you know, they're kind of holding back. I feel like they're holding back right now. All this holding back, but it's not going to allow them to, it's not going to stick because in the right time, you guys are going to get together. And I really feel this is soon because of so much action energy here. Wands are action. King of Wands is an action. So your person's embodying action. And they're going to want to take you out. I really feel like you guys are going to celebrate. They want to take you out. You're going to enjoy. You guys are going to have fun. Um, and, and it's probably going to be such a good energy because you're in such strong nine of pentacles. Like you're probably doing glow up this month. You know, you guys are just smelling good, looking good, you know, going to the barber, working out a little more, looking more pumped, We're, wearing your best outfits this month, just because it's like you want to bring in, you're preparing for the new year. This also feels like this kind of vibrancy. Um, let me see what's this wheel of fortune here. No. Yeah. The moon and the world. So this isn't done. I feel unfished, finished business with the judgment. It's just taking time. I want to clarify with this deck. Very good on this wheel of fortune. Judgment again. So we saw judgment and now five of cups. Um, they don't want to lose you. I think this person was focused on the wrong thing emotionally. So it, it was like they had a moment. And then it was also an awakening period. So a lot of it, um, all this understanding with the hangman and the temperance and the six of swords, like it's like they want to move into calmer waters. It's almost like there's an understanding here. Give me more on this king of wands energy. Give me more on this king of wands. They're definitely embodying action energy, two of swords. So they were definitely in a stalemate. So I think action is happening. They're getting out of this um, moon energy. Give me more on this moon Yep, Eight of Cups moving out. So they're moving away and more action fire. They're bringing in communication. You guys are going to talk. I feel like there's going to be a conversation, but fire. A lot of wands, you guys. So this definitely indicates action. This King of Swords is probably going to finally share emotions. Yep, bring you justice. Temperance again. Queen of Pentacles. There you go. Empress energy. You're just, you're not, they're not. They've been thinking about you. Seven of Cups. Chariot. They want to make a move. The Sun. Um, yeah. Uh, this is a lot of loving, you know, signs again, you guys have, um, a strong Gemini. We have strong, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo. We've got Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Sagittarius specifically, um, as well. Cancer energy. But a lot of wands, but I really just feel this is the wands is an indication of good, like you're going to be busy. You're going to be busy this month. A lot of communication, a lot of action, a lot of attention for you, Capricorn, um, which this person is going to get you going, which is probably why this reconciliation will take place for a lot of you. So let's see what the blockages are for this connection. This is too many spirit. What were the blockages for this connection? What were the blockages for this connection? Emotions are heightened right now. More in the blockages. You know, so this person probably was trying to definitely resolve their emotions with this temperance. I feel like this person was not clear in the mind. Um, they let the best get to them with this two of swords. They were definitely their own stalemate because we have a lot of fire energy. This could be, and there goes that spiritual protection here. I think you guys have been getting that for a while. And then release old emotional wounds are keeping you in a karmic cycle, cry and let go. Um, this person, again, probably had a lot of triggers. And this is what I was saying earlier, the, ch the children here, because I feel like this has to do with the control. There is childhood wounds. There's a childlike triggering that happened within your person. Because that's the only reason this children card would be here. And so it has to do with releasing. So your energy has probably triggered them and they needed a kind of, you know, again, spiritual protection here. Your guys are protecting you. So this was to protect you um, while this person figured themselves out.
you know, and maybe for some of you, you let go someone else new. And this is like this whole fire sign is this whole new energy. Like, it's like you have a whole new person. This could, like I said, this could, for some of you, this is like the flirting has to do with, a, could be the, the whole new person. Um, this new beginning, Ace of Pentacles with someone else where they reignited you. You met some other soulmate or some other person coming in um, where you guys took this new direction. And this is the activation energy, all the sexual tension, the good conversation, um, the things that are happening for the both of you as well, for those who are single and have met someone new, I feel. So what is the untold message of the heart of this person? Sorry, please accept my apology so we can move past this. And that's, again, that to me for the reconciliation for sure. Codependency, I need you. Oof. You know, I don't feel this is a, a negative codependency. And yes, here we go. Risk. I'm ready to take a leap of faith and risk it all for you. I feel like this person, to me, this is a healthy kind of um, energy where they, they realize what you mean to them. They realize wh who you are to them. Just give me more of this energy for Capricorn until message of the heart. Yeah, magnet. Like I said, magnet. I keep being drawn back to you and I can't quite explain it. Yes. This is, they're not done. You guys are going to have a lot of fun. I'm, the sensitive card keeps coming and popping up to me. Thinking about you makes me emotional and I want to open up to you about how I'm feeling that express your love. Yes. Again, the way this person, that child, like maybe this person is used to not talking and sharing their emotions in a very efficient way that so they are very sensitive about that and i want to open up to you about how i'm feeling like you know they're having a hard time really expressing those emotions so let's see what else what is the unspoken message of the heart of this person you are worth you are worthy of so much more than what I can give you right now. I'm working on becoming the person that can give you what you deserve. Definitely reconciliation energy right there. So this person really needed to kind of deal with their own things. Again, you may have triggered things, Capricorn. That's why emotions are heightened. So something happened where they were triggered, right? Old emotional wounds are keeping you in a karmic cycle. They kept probably repeating certain patterns or they realized something about themselves that heightened their emotions. Um, I have kept myself closed off for so long. It's all I know to do. Please give me some time to open up. This is a lot about this person having a difficult time, right? We just said about their emotions. I know that we are destined to be together. That's why I'm coming back soon. So clear that i feel like the message is um very clear here yeah this is sticking out to me i see you in my dreams you're the last thing on my mind before i go to sleep and the first thing in the morning when i wake up you're my favorite obsession oof that's that someone's you know definitely waking up with a wood a hard wood in the morning you guys i'm not kidding you this action fire energy here there's a lot of sexual energy all right, so let's see what's the best guidance for you, Capricorns. Meditation. Take some time out to focus and be silent. Calm your overactive mind and become one again with your soul. The answer you seek will come to you when you're at peace with yourself and go for it. Action, action, action. Make it happen and take the opportunity that has presented itself to you. The time is now. I feel like a lot of you are just like, this is a lot of to me self-love. This screams taking care of you, really um, practicing mindful peacefulness, but also on the go, go, go with this nine of pentacles doing you, like I said, you guys are busy. So a lot of action. So maybe you're, you're also in this energy, this fire energy of just moving because you're just in your element and enjoying your birthday month with everyone who's probably trying, wanting to take you out, celebrate with you, friends, family, etc. There's a lot going on, right? All right, let's get one more guidance. Capricorn for you. One more time for Capricorn. Oh 
one more time. It's for Capricorn. Jeez, Capricorn. It's gotta be a good one, Capricorn. Two. Spring. A period of renewal and bloom. And I feel this is like your element. Well, you guys, like I said, you get in your element. You're like in a period of renewal and bloom. So you are blooming. And then moonlight. I bathe in moonlight and she whispers that everything will be okay. At this very moment, I I'm right where I need to be. Yeah, I love this energy. It's almost like you're, you're again, in your element, Capricorn. And you know that you are where you need to be even if there's some frustrations in between i feel like you're learning to be more in the present moment or just appreciating being more in the present moment and just trying to be like really talking to yourselves i feel like a lot of you are just like i'm gonna be good 